Hi and welcome to Live with Joy. Uh, we'll just give it a few moments for everybody to come on and find that post and then we will go over what we're going to be doing today with our workout. We are doing a strength driven workout today and we are doing some focused work today. So we've got two muscle groups that we're going to be working with and I will talk about that in just a moment. Equipment that you're going to need is a mat because we will be doing a good portion of the workout on the floor and then also your dumbbells. Make sure that if you have different weights and sizes to choose from, make sure that you have them accessible to you uh, because you will figure out what size you wanna go with based on the exercises that we're doing per circuit. So you will see that I labeled this workout back and chest supersets. So supersets are when we do two exercises back to back. So our circuits are all gonna consist of supersets that have to do with the back and the chest. It could be working, alternating a back and a chest move. It could be two chest moves. It could be two back moves. Um, it just depends on that circuit. I'm trying to alternate a back and a chest exercise where I can within each one of those supersets, but sometimes there um, is something that focuses more on the chest or more on the back. So uh, basically, again, supersets are when you do two exercises and you just do them back to back for a certain amount of sets and reps. Um, so we're doing time. So the reps are going to really be based on what you can do within that time frame. So we're going to have 30 seconds for every exercise and we are going to do four sets of those exercises. So we have six circuits today. That means that we've got two exercises per circuit because we're going to focus on one superset per circuit, two exercises that have to do with either the back, the chest, or both of them within that circuit. Um, we have our first two circuits on our feet and then our last four circuits on the floor because that's really where we can really dive into some of that back work and that especially that chest work from the ground. So we're gonna do a lot of that chest work from the ground, a little bit of that back work incorporated in with that chest. And on our feet, we'll hit the, a little bit of that chest, a little bit more of that back when we're up for those first two circuits. Um, so we're focusing on the upper part of that chest, we're focusing on the upper part of that back. So everything is gonna be front and back of the upper part of that, that body, from the shoulders through the chest and all the way around to the upper part of that back. And also that mid back as well. So again, different size weights you wanna have so that you can alternate them. Again, we're doing four sets, so if you needed to change those weights throughout, let's say you do two sets heavy and you decide you need to go lighter, feel free to change them out. We have just a five second transition time in between our exercises and those supersets. You might need more time, especially when we're doing some flipping around on that floor. That's okay. If it takes you 10 seconds or 15 seconds even to get into that position, just utilize the rest of that time to do as many reps as you can, and then you'll go back to your other exercise, okay? So don't worry if you take more time than those five seconds, it is okay. The more and more that you learn transitions and how to go from one exercise to another, the better and more efficient you'll get at it. Right now, it might take you a little bit more time than is allotted for, but that's okay. Again, we have 30 seconds for those exercises. So even if you get 20 seconds or 15 seconds of actual work in, that's still good, okay? Don't um, think that that is not good if you're, you're taking too long to transition into your next exercise. That is fine, it's part of the workout. Transitioning is part of that workout and you do get better at that as you continue to work on those transitions. Okay, so let's get started with our warm up. Again, it's all about that back and that chest. That is what we're working on today. That is what we're focusing on today. March it out, right and left. Right, left. Right, left, right, left. Shoulders down, retract back. Let's engage that center. Keeping nice, strong center throughout your workout. Very important. Let's go four, three, two, and heel across. Get a little push. Keep the chest open, good posture. Keep it here eight more times. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, step, touch. Take it side to side. Really get those arms moving because that's what we're working today, that upper body. So you want to move through those arms, get them ready, get those joints ready. Four, three, 
two, reach across and tap, reach. Eight more, eight. Four, three, two, reach it overhead, up. Eight more times, eight. Four, three, two, take it back across, reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hamstring curl and pull. Use the arms. You want to get those joints and the arms really warmed up and ready to hold and move through with those weights. Four, three, two, knees to the front, pull down. Good, use those arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hamstring curls, pull it back. So a lot of these muscles we're working with today are bigger muscles of the upper body. But we really get some rear shoulders, because that's part of the back side of our body, step, touch, and reach, tap and reach, right here. So those, when we hit those upper part of the shoulders in the back, we'll work with a little bit lighter weight, but as we get to those bigger muscles, you can go heavier if you have some. Reach it up. Four, three, two, back across, just four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, step, touch, and press. Four, three, two, heel across, press forward. Four, three, two, march it out, right and left. Four, three, keep marching, roll those shoulders back. Roll, good, roll. Good, really feel those muscles, the shoulders in the back moving. Two more, take those legs out wide and hold. Hands on those thighs and hinge forward with a flat back. Hold and roll it up halfway, stretch that spine. Take that flat back down and roll it all the way up. Roll the shoulders back. So we're gonna tackle some of those exercises we can do standing to hit that chest and that back. So first set, I'm gonna go with my lighter weights because we are gonna be hitting the rear part of that shoulder, which is a little bit weaker of the muscles of the back that we're gonna be working. Feet are gonna be hips shoulder width apart, shoulders are down and back. First, we're gonna go for a scooping press. This is for that chest. Weights come from the side, and as we come up, palms are up, and we bring the weights together. Then second exercise of that super set, we're gonna hinge forward, strong center, roll the shoulders up and back, and we're going for those reverse flats. So you wanna make sure the weight that you have, you can control for both of those moves. Reverse fly might be a little bit more difficult, but this is tough too because it requires some shoulder work with that chest. Again, we have muscles involved, so, you want to make sure you can control that move as well. So test it out. Get set in your position. If at any time the weights are too much, put them down. Go through the movements without or grab lighter weights. Get your body set. Scoop and press in two and one. So now we're in it. Okay, you've got about four minutes, a little over four minutes, or about four minutes of work, a little bit more. The work itself is actually exactly four minutes, so you've got those transitions in between. Take your time, you have four sets, okay? So you don't have to rush these. You got four sets to work these two muscle groups. Good, now we're gonna hinge forward, slight bend in the elbows, strong center, and into that reverse flat. Now you can feel this more in your back side. Through your upper back all the way down through your shoulders. Back of the arms even. Make sure you're breathing. 
Good. Go tuck that chin in. You want to keep space between your chin and your chest. Keep that center engaged. The rest of the body super still. Think about that back really doing that work, that upper back, and through those rear shoulders. Come on up. Reset. Shoulders down and back. Back to that scooping press. So now this is taking it to the front part of that body, into that chest. And again, shoulders assisting here to move the weights with that chest. Engage that sense of breathing through that movement. Find your control with every breath you do. No swinging, no dropping. Good, hinge forward, get set in position. You have time to reset. Okay, this is a quick transition. This one, some are gonna take a little longer to transition into. This one, nice and quick. All you need to do is hang forward and really reset your body. Breathe. Keep it nice and strong, nice and steady. So by that second set, you should be starting to feel that fatigue set in a little bit. If it's too much and you need to get rid of your weights or lighten them for your next two sets, go ahead and do so. One more time, bring it up, reset that body. Breathe, engage your center. And set number three. So by the time you get to that fourth set, you should be feeling that fatigue in the muscles that you're working. You might need to start going slower, taking a little rest in between each one of those reps. If you feel like you could go on and on and on forever, then your weights are definitely a little bit too light. Unless you are working on preventing an injury or nursing an injury, then you're gonna to wanna to get rid of your weights altogether or remain super light, regardless of how you feel, whether those muscles feel fatigued or not. So again, you've gotta analyze your body and what it is capable of, how healthy it is, all of those factor in. Good, engage that center and breathe. All right, here we go. Final two sets, right? final set of each, right here. Go for it. Oh wait, actually, nope, you're done. We're doing three sets, sorry. Three sets, we didn't have time for four sets. I put the weights down. Okay, so now you know you're doing three sets. You know I said four, but it's actually three. We didn't have time for six circuits with, um, with four. So we've got three. We're going on to our next superset, okay? Right here, keep in mind again, that's three sets at this point. Shoulders down and back. You're gonna go for those shrugs. So I'm going with eight pounds. I'm going a little bit heavier for this superset. And then weights to the front, hinge forward, and we're going for that wide row right here. Okay, so see how I'm wide, palm space me the entire time? And I wanna come up with about a 90 degree bend right here, okay? So again, three sets, not four. Grab the weights that you think you can. Manage for that, shoulders down and back. And you're starting with shoulder shrugs up and down in two and one. All right, so again, three sets. Shoulders up and down. Think about lifting up as high as you can, pressing them down. Lifting up, pressing down. There you go. Shoulder shrug up, press down. Engage that center. Push. Good, get that last one in. Hinge forward, weights to the front, palms facing you. Wide row now, working through the entire upper part of that back. Bring it up, even pause there for a moment so you can really feel that back have to contract and stay a little bit tense in that moment. Let it remain activated for even that moment you're there instead of just coming up and coming down right away. Take that little pause right here and then come on down. Good. Come on up, set number two. And again, three sets, not four. Shoulder shrug up, press down. So just keep that in mind with the weights that you have. Press. Bring it up, press it down. 
up and press. And again, by set number three, you should feel that fatigue setting in. Even on set two, I can feel that fatigue set, setting in, but I can manage a set number three. So that's how you want to determine your weights. Okay? You still need to be able to manage it throughout all sets. But by the time you get to that last set and that last rep, you should be at a point where you could not really necessarily do a whole bunch more or even want to do another set. So you want to make sure you pick weights that by the time you get to that third set, you definitely feel like that was enough for you. Go ahead, bring it up, shoulders down and back, set your position, and shrug it up, press it down. So I always tell my clients, that's one of the questions I get a lot is, how do I know what weight to go with? Well, no matter what you're doing, whether it's time or it's reps, by the time you get to that last rep that you're doing, you don't want to feel like you can do 50 more of them. You want to feel like you need to have a rest, you go for another set, you want to feel by the time you get to, the, to do all the sets and reps that you allotted for, that you're feeling it. If you're not feeling it and you feel like you could go on for another half an hour doing that same move, well then your weights are not heavy enough. And if you can't manage your position or your form, and you can't barely get any reps in, or you can't do the reps that you, or the time that you allotted, then your weights are too heavy. So you've got to find that sweet spot that makes you feel challenged, but you can manage it, and you're not suffering in form. So our first two exercises down here, you're not going to need any weights. But what I want you to do is get your weights that you're going to use for chest presses, and then you can grab as many weights as you need so you can decide when you're down there, okay? First exercise, you need no weights. We're doing W reaches and a close arm push-up, so a narrow push-up. So let me show you what we're going to do here. We're going to keep our feet together and down on that floor. We're going to bring our hands right to our side, and we are going to lift our body up from here. And then we're gonna reach forward and pull back. So our arms almost look like a W when they're here, and then we reach forward. So that's why I call it W to reach it. You're keeping that chest lifted as you reach forward and pull back. Then our hands are gonna come right next to our chest, slightly outside, bend your knees or on your toes, and you're gonna push up from here, keeping it narrow and close to the body with those arms, okay? Again, if you can't get up from the floor, you can just push and come back down here, all right? Or you can start up here, and you can come down a little bit and back up, okay? I happen to like trying to push up from the floor. You get a little bit more work, even if you barely get up, okay? But completely up to you, you can do it either way. All right, so let's start here, feet down and together. Lift the hands and the chest off the ground and start your reaches from there. And I am starting that clock. You are in 30 seconds, remember, three sets of each. So this is really focusing on those deep inner back muscles right here. And also through that upper back as well. A lot of back muscles are gonna be at work here. But we're really thinking about those deep postural muscles right here of that back. That really helps you with that good posture. Very important to work these deep inner back muscles. One more time, pull it in, take the hands at your side, bend the knees or get ready to pop up on your toes and press yourself up or start from up here and come down just a little bit. If you can, you're trying to get all the way to that floor and press up from there. The bigger you make that move, the more muscles of that chest that you're gonna engage. You also have back muscles at work, and even other muscles at work for push-ups. So push-ups are really a big bend for your butt kind of exercise because you get multiple muscles working at the same time. Those big muscles and those small muscles really are at work. Lower down, extend your legs, lift the hands and chest off the ground, reach forward, pull it back. Look straight down at the floor, you don't want to look up in front of you. Step number two right here. 
And if you need a rest, take it. You don't have to stay up here the whole time. You can do one, rest it down, lift it, do another one, rest it down. You can rest, take a little time on that floor, and then come back to it. Remember, it's what you can do, not what you can't do. So if you can only do one within this 30 second time, hey, that's fine. That's what you can do today, right? Hands to the floor, bend the knees, get yourself in position, press it up or start up here and lower down. Keep your body super straight here. Look straight down at that floor. Press yourself up and away from that floor. Just think about one at a time. If you need, you can rest up here in between each one. You can rest down here in between each one. See what you need to do and how many you can get in, right? All right, lower all the way down. Extend the legs, feet are together. Lift the hands and chest off the ground and then reach forward, pull back for your final set of each right here. So here we have no weights, you're only using your body weight. So you can only work on range of motion or how many you can do. You can try to lift higher, squeeze the back higher. So you're using cues like that to make it easier or harder. Range of motion, speed, and keep the hands to the ground, bend and lift. Nice and strong. Again, use that strength. Dig your hands into the floor and push yourself up and away from that ground. Even if you can't lift yourself up, to me, you're already activating, even if you go nowhere. I prefer that rather than being here, but you can do either way. Again, up to you. You're still going to activate that chest, which is what we're looking for, and that back. Take a little stretch and relax. All right, resetting that clock. All right, so now we're going to grab our weights, and we got a little bit longer of those transitions that I was talking about, okay? So our first exercise is going to be a narrow chest press. We keep those arms nice and close to the body as we bend down and extend and lengthen up. Okay, then to transition. Place your weights gently on the floor. You've got to make your way up from here. Rotate over. Now you can either stay on all fours for your renegade rows, okay, all changing a fall. Or in that plank position, if you want to utilize more of that body weight and more of that core, okay? And then you transition back and back to those narrow presses. You're going to get that chest and that back all in this one circuit. So first you're lying down, weights over the shoulders, getting ready to press straight down in two and one. And remember the transition is to keep it up to you, okay? You know whatever pace you need to to transition into that second exercise for those renegade rows. Right here, starting with those presses. I remember from don't rest those arms on the ground. Hover over. Okay, so even if those arms are touching, that's fine. You don't want to be resting on them. You want to hover and push. All right, so here's your transition. Get those weights down, gently on the floor. Rotate over. The quicker you can get there, yeah, of course, the more reps you can get in, but take your time. You need to stay on all fours. Roll right here. Okay, still utilizing that back with the rows. Here, if you can make it stronger and the wider your stance is, the easier it's gonna be to stabilize your body, okay? The more narrow that stance is, it gets a little bit harder. So take those feet out wider if you need to. All right, so again, we gotta transition back. Make sure you've got enough room to rotate. Grab those weights, gently lower down and press it back up into that narrow row. Okay, so you find what works for you on those transitions. So you'll notice that things like a sit-up plays a role into that transition. Okay, if you can't sit up, then yeah, you might have to roll over to your side. If you've got that sit-up, you can sit up and then rotate. So that's where other exercises come into play. So right here, see, I'm gonna sit up and I'm gonna rotate over. Good, wide stance on those rows. Again, if you wanna make it 
easier. On your knees, totally fine as well. You want to make it harder, bring those feet closer together. Keep that body as still as you can, whether you're on your knees or on your toes. And start your transition. Make sure there's enough room. And from here, if you're sitting down, it's like a sit up. Like you down front, grab those weights, and press it up. Last one, last one. So, yeah, hopefully you're starting to feel that fatigue setting in. Should be harder to do. You need a rest, you can hold it at the top, or you can rest those arms on the floor at this point if you need to, and then press up every time you get enough of that energy to do so. Good, nice and easy. Make sure the weights come to the floor first. Sit it up or roll it to your side. Get into your position and row it out for your last and final set right here. Push up, which 
just going to require even a little bit more because you actually are taking one hand off the floor to move. And that arm is taking on more work. Good. Finish up that last one. Come on to that back for your final set of wide chest press right here. Palms up and go. Last and final set here. And then we got one more super set to go. Good, nice and easy, gently lower down, rise up. One more set of those moving push-ups. Again, you can just do a wide one. Or you just hold that plank, get that strong here. Do one push-up every once in a while, if you can manage it. Again, this has to be strong before this can happen. It's that progression that you need to make before you can progress two movements. Good, take a little stretch back. All right, last and final super set. And I'm gonna actually grab my thighs for this one. All right, which is gonna be chest plots. All right, so first set, palms face each other. First um, exercise is chest plots. So we open and close right here. Keeping a slight bend in the elbows. Now you gotta do that rotation. And you can take one weight only. Now we're gonna alternate into those side planks. You gotta utilize that back to come up, back to that shoulder, okay? Up here if you can, alternating through that side plank just like this, okay? So chest flies, and then opening up that chest and holding up through that back, okay? All right, lie on the floor. Palms facing each other, getting ready for those chest flies in two and one. Here we go, on the clock for your final super set. Let's finish it out right here, opening and closing. And again, take your time on those transitions. Again, it's up to you how fast or slow you need to transition. Take the time that you need. Don't rush it, just to rush it. You will get more efficient and better at them as you increase the strength of that body. Good, lower down first. Make your way up. Rotate over, center one weight in underneath your body and rotate right here. You can do this without the weight. You don't have to have the weight. The weight is extra if you can manage this position and you are strong as you hold on to that weight and reach it up. Okay, remember, you can have that knee down, rotate, keep it close to the body, with or without that weight. This is hard enough to do with your own body weight, so it depends if you can manage it with that weight. All right, let's go. Lower down, get onto your back, rise up with the palms facing each other, chest flies out and in. And again, you decide what weight you can manage with this. Five to me are good because of my shoulder on my left side. This is a tough move for my shoulder. Even though we're working chest, shoulders do move with this. So my mobility in the shoulder for this move is not so great. So heavy weights are not good for me here. So that's what you have to determine with each exercise you do. All right, let's go. Weight centered underneath that body and go. Right underneath that chest and then pull and lift with or without that weight. Open up that chest and feel that back nice and strong. Again, maybe pause there for a moment. Really feel that strength through that back and feel that opening through that chest right there. Good, let's get that final set in. Again, think about what you're doing as you transition. Open and close. Last and final set right here. 
Hitting that chest, hitting that back, and then you're done. Final time, right here. Good, one more time, lower down. Make sure you've got control of those weights before you make your way up. Take that weight on the floor, send your chest over it. If you're using that weight, again, maybe taking that pause on that open movement right here. Lengthen up, knee down if you need to. of your back and chest today with those supersets. Good job, guys. Once again, um, we are trying to, I'm trying to now mix up those workouts within the week, some focused stuff, some full body stuff. So you'll kind of see this um, tapping into certain muscle groups and also doing full body things as we move through the weeks, okay? Because now we really have started to build a strong foundation. We really want to um, have some challenging days with some of that full body workout and that hard, hard cardio. And we want to have days where we pinpoint certain muscle groups and we focus on those and still bring it into a certain body part, okay? So we're going to kind of mix that up throughout the weeks. 
Tomorrow, we're definitely gonna incorporate some cardio, probably some strength as well. So it'll have something to do with maybe full body strength and cardio. Maybe so, we'll, we won't hit that back and chest as hard because we did that today, but I'll incorporate some of those other muscle groups for strength and we'll hit that cardio to get that intensity up tomorrow, okay? So awesome job today, guys. Thank you once again for joining me. Make sure, again, that you either save the workout or you share the workout if it's something um, you can also come back to this page, click on the videos, and all of them there for you. So just add them on here. Always letting you know that those videos are there, um, and we have plenty of them to choose from now. Specific muscle groups, full body stuff, core, cardio, a lot of things there that you can do. There's even that flexibility and, and flow or tone stuff. So just, you know, go through them and see what you like and what you may want to do again. Thank you again for joining me tomorrow. Once again, we're going to get back to that cardio and that intensity, spiking it up and hitting that body, burning those calories and having a lot of movement, okay? So I'll see you tomorrow for our final day of the week. Have a